How many of you watched Game of Thrones last night, the show? Okay. See, I had to be careful today because I was only able to see part of it. My wife and I had to stop halfway because our son woke up and started screaming like a, a white walker full of dragon glass. <laughs> I was like, you got to go to sleep. The show's on. He's like, Elmo cookie, Elmo cookie. And I, <laughs> uh, one thing I do want to say, I don't know if anyone else feels this way. I hate the scenes of Game of Thrones where they're eating and drinking because it drives me nuts to hear the actor slurping the wine, <laughs> slurping from those goblets. It makes the hair on my back stand up. They, <laughs> No manners at all during the Game of Thrones times. Instead of an episode you can't see, I'd like one you can't hear if they're going to do that drinking thing. <laughs> Last week, everyone, as you probably know, was upset because the episode was too dark. And this week, there's a new thing to be mad at Game of Thrones about. Take a look at this. Most people get bloody murdered. They stay that way. Right there on the table, there is what appears to be, can we zoom in on that, a Starbucks cup. <laughs> so I didn't know that. I knew there were a lot of Starbucks. I didn't know they'd expanded to Winterfell. I didn't know there was a, a house macchiato now. And of course, people were very upset about this. A lot of people online said it ruined the episode and made it seem not real, right? Because the Starbucks cup is what makes the show feel not real. Not the dragons. Not the zombies made of ice. The coffee cup on the table. HBO had to put out a statement. They said it was not a Starbucks cup. But if you zoom in, you can see, you clearly see. And they spelled Khaleesi wrong. It's a Starbucks cup. Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.